Hey, what is up there, everyone? This is Dalton in Cloud, and today we're going to be going over a little bit about uh, how to get your uh, CompTIA Security Plus 501 or 601. Uh, and I mentioned the 501 because it is still active. It's going to be active until early of next year uh, before it's retired. And uh, for anyone who's already started studying, I don't want you to think this is an excuse to stop studying and uh, put it off because if you put it off you're going to keep putting it off trust me i did that for years and you don't want to be stuck because every year you don't learn something new is another year you're putting yourself behind everyone else without further ado let's go on so the first part of our video we're going to be talking about um our own internal resources. Uh, here uh, we work and I help manage IT pathways. Uh, in this uh, learning group, uh, there's a lot of resources that are uh, free resources you could access to find ways to get certified in different uh, areas. Uh, these are tested ways to get certified where uh, we actually have testimonials of people uh, using these resources to get uh, tested and get certified uh, and we're going to be going over that today for the security plus uh, certificate from CompTIA. So for this uh, they currently have the 501 and 601. The 601 launched November 12th of this year so it just launched uh, and we're going to be having the 501 still active until early of next year is going to be the retirement date. It actually should say on here. Uh, okay, so July 31st. So there's still ample time to get this certificate. It's not going to be that difficult. Uh, it's a passing score of 750. Uh, when I passed using the resources we're going to be going over, I got a 792. Um, I will say up front, there's going to be a lot of uh, hands on labs. Uh, my suggestion is they put the labs up front, uh, answer what you can if you think it's an easy lab, an easy one to go through. However, uh, I actually suggest skipping the lab, going to the multiple choice, and coming back to the lab. The labs are going to be more critical thinking, and uh, you want to focus on those as much as you can. So get what you, the rest of the uh, memorization or uh, questionnaire uh, answers done first. Um, so with that, let's get on to the resources. So the first resource you're going to want to get, and we're going to have a link to this in the description below, uh, is going to be a book by Daryl Gibson. It's a uh, CompTIA Security Plus, Get Us Certified, Get a, and Stay Ahead, uh, Get Ahead, uh, the, the 501 Study Guide. So this is primarily for the 501. I, I do believe that Daryl is going to create a newer version for the 601. So you can buy the paperback, you could buy it used for $26.99, or you could buy a new copy for $32. Uh, if you have a mobile device like a tablet, or even if you're comfortable reading off your cell phone, I know sometimes I had to actually read on the tablet because I don't like squinting on my phone, but I highly suggest the Kindle version. Uh, it's $10. Uh, you could look at it at your tablet, phone, or if you have a Kindle device, you could watch it on there. I highly suggest this. It's more economic and uh, as we're going to find out through a lot of my other videos when we get into uh, financials, I'm very frugal with my money so I like saving it when I can. Uh, I really suggest this. Um, there's other resources for learning as well. If you're not as much of a reader, you could also take courses. You could take it through a Cloud Guru, which is one of my favorite learning platforms. Uh, actually have a subscription to uh, their service or you could also get one with IT Pro TV who recently got acquired um, by ACI Learning uh, or partnered with ACI Learning. Uh, they have amazing content. They're always uh, getting up-to-date content with the latest certification. Uh, some of their stuff may seem outdated but uh, they do update it as much as they can. So if you're more of a visual learner and you like learning through video content, this is definitely a way to go as well. And the last resource we're going to be going over, uh, because you don't want to just buy an exam dump 
it's not really going to help prepare you for the exam. Uh, the book is going to be one of the best resources you're going to be utilizing by Daryl Gibson. And then the second best resource is actually going to be uh, practice exams with practice simulations uh, through Jason Dion. The practice simulations aren't going to be exact, so I wouldn't rely too heavily on them. Uh, Daryl Gibson does provide uh, test labs uh, that, that you could try out. He'll give you how-to videos uh, when going through his book. I do suggest you uh, play with those uh, test uh, labs that he has. Uh, these labs, they're going to be still going to be multiple choice. So try to not just memorize the answer, try to memorize the actual reason why um, those, uh, those answers are the way they are. Uh, just if you could understand that, then you'll uh, pass the test 100% uh, your first time around. Um, the main difference, uh, and for those of you wondering, the main difference that's going to be going in to uh, the 501 from the 601, the changes they made, this is primarily going to be uh, penetration uh, testing. So they're going to talk about more of the uh, Team Red side of things. Uh, and that's, that's the main discussion point for the uh, 601 uh, going into that. You do need to know about ISO compliancy and a lot of these other uh, uh, different terms and these different um, rules and playbooks, uh, but that's going to be later on when you start studying. So uh, for anyone else who has an issue, uh, and for those of you who are wondering, the uh, if, if you just stuck to the book and the uh, practice uh, simulations uh, by Daryl Gibson and Jason Dion, then that's going to cost you a total of $25 worth of training. So it's $25 worth of training. The uh, practice exam itself, it's about three three fifty. dollars uh, And then if you get, uh, what I suggest, if you do feel like you're not as comfortable going into this exam, and something I did, was I actually went uh, to CompTIA, I got their bundle, which had a, uh, uh, a retake voucher uh, on it as well. I do suggest you do that, that's what I did. It's $50 more and you get uh, their official learning um, uh, guide. So that's something that I do suggest, it's 50 bucks. So all in all, uh, aside from what you were already going to pay for the exam itself, you're paying an extra 50 bucks for the retake. You're paying $25 in total for your learning material. It's going to be cost you $75 for you to invest in yourself to get this certificate. Uh, and then the 350 or the, the other money that goes with actually taking the uh, certificate itself. But if you're willing to invest that $75, I could almost guarantee this is going to help you pass. Uh, and the good thing about uh, Daryl Gibson's book, uh, this is really formatted uh, and he explains it in a way that makes it easier for people who are not coming from IT to understand. So he breaks it down as easy as he can, explain it like M5 approach. Uh, so I really suggest anyone who's interested uh, in passing the exam, spending as little money as possible, you go that route. But as I said, if you are someone who you want to spend a little bit more, it's always good to invest in yourself instead of, instead of spending X amount of money a month on uh, Netflix or Hulu or the new Apple TV subscription. You may want to just save that money and use it on yourself for some learning. Uh, I do say that uh, you could try the free trial at IT Pro TV, and there's also a free trial at Acloud Guru. Uh, a cloud guru is going to be more geared towards people who want to go in the cloud space. We're going to have breakdown videos of how to uh, test and get certified for cloud certificates later on. Um, but if you're looking for generic security networking uh, certificates and you want the most up-to-date material, IT Pro TV is one place you can't go wrong. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great time, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy. See ya.